Hi guys, so today we're going to talk separately about overweight for the body types because I have many questions about this and I can see a lot of confusion about this. If you're new, you can check my Kibi playlist down below. I'm going to leave the link. So one of the things on how you can analyze your type and just to understand your type better is to remember or just see if you know how exactly you overweight. Not everybody knows that. I personally don't know how I overweight and where. I do overweight sometimes, but I just don't notice where. But some people know for sure where exactly, so they are aware about this. So we're gonna talk about this today, but please make sure that you are not typing yourself based on just one, this element. We're not typing ourselves on just one element. We're typing ourselves on yin and yang balance. So every yin and yang balance has slightly different characteristics. And every type overweights slightly different. But maybe if you are stuck between two or three types, maybe this will kind of show you that picture. I overweight like that. So maybe that will just give you a hint or you will just get rid of some of your confusion. Okay, now the pictures I'm gonna show you now. When I give you Kibi information, I try to stay as close to the source as possible. I'm getting his official Kibi celebrities list where he typed celebrities based on his knowledge. And I'm trying to show you those pictures. So if for some reason I, the pictures I show you is not really overweight or slightly overweight and you expect much more overweight so you would be able to see that and compare. So be aware about that. I'm trying to choose pictures of those people from Kibi celebrities list and I'm trying to search for their overweight pictures. They're not always pictures of these people that are overweight out there in internet that I can show you. Whatever I find, I show you, but you please rely on the words that are in the book. So in a David Kibi's book, he says this for dramatics. Heaviness usually congregates around the hip and upper thigh area as opposed to the upper torso. See, for them, when they overweight, they overweight normally on the bottom. So if somebody overweights mostly on the bottom, that is more young characteristic in their body. Soft dramatic. Heaviness is seen at the fleshiest parts of the body. The bust, hips, waist, thighs, upper arms, and especially in the face. This is soft dramatics. Romantic. The body only gets more rounded. The face gets very full because they are already rounded. You know, Rom many romantics, they can be in their ideal weight, but they still have some flesh. And the, th the, the more they weight, of course, the harder it tells sometimes um, to understand your bone structure. So some people are really confused about this. And maybe this video actually can help you. So I just filmed a video about confusion about the body type. So you might want to watch this too. Where I talk about this, I talk about the figures and the flesh in there. Theatrical romantic. The figure will remain hourglass with a defined waist. Upper arms, thighs and face will become quite flashy. Okay, next, classic. The body remains symmetrical and the weight is usually evenly distributed. Normally they gain it everywhere, pretty much everywhere in their body. Soft classic. Body becomes very soft. Facial features become very flashy. A thickish look is usually the result of excess weight. The waist is the first to lose any definition. Dramatic classic. Excess weight shows up right away and collects from the waist down. You seem to gain weight in the hips and thighs. You rarely gain weight around the bust line. The heavier you get, the more pear-shaped you become. Now, again, I want to war warn you because many people, they have this, as they think, problem being pear-shaped, which is not a problem. They just have that beautiful body shape. And when they hear that pear-shaped, oh, that's probably me. Then I'm dramatic classic. No, 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 no. It's just, again, it's one of the characteristics, but there are loads of characteristics and I read the whole text all the Kibi test in this video, so you can check that once again. And don't rely, by the way, on the pictures in that test too much, because when I was doing that test, I was based on not very accurate Kibi celebrities list that I found on the internet. And then later I found like real Kibi's lists where not always he typed these people into this category, so please be aware about this, but just pay attention on the words. So if you're pear-shaped, you can be dramatic classic, if other things are also in. Natural. The body tends to remain straight as opposed to becoming curvy. 
Excess weight tends to make you a little square in shape as it broadens the midsection. Extreme excess weight gives a very stocky appearance. Soft natural. Body tends to become extremely soft and flashy, with the waist thickening. The upper arms, thighs and hips tend to collect excess weight most rapidly. Flamboyant natural. Body tends to become square and stocky, and the face becomes flashy and puffy. Extreme excess weight will collect primarily from the waist down. Again, this is the dramatic feature in flamboyant naturals. They have some drama in them. Gamin. Excess weight tends to show up in the hip and waist areas. Rarely does it appear above the waist. If a gamin is extremely overweight, the body tends to square or stocky appearance as opposed to curves. Again, gamins have some drama in them. They're just small and tiny, but they are slightly straight. So this is their drama. They can gain weight slightly on the bottom, more on the bottom than on top. Soft gamin. Body tends to get very rounded as the weight collects mainly in the bust and hip areas. Arms and thighs may get very soft and face tends to become quite flashy. It is common for soft gamins to feel overweight even when they aren't because of the extreme round shape of the body paired with the short limbs. Again, still, if you're short, if you have short limbs and you feel like whatever you do, you just look puffy to yourself, it doesn't mean that you're soft gamin. You have to make sure you looked at all other features. And last but not least, flamboyant gamin. Body tends to become stocky and square. Excess weight usually collects from the waist down, rarely above. Arms and legs tend to become thick, as does the waist and hip area. Face may become very puffy and fleshy. All right, that's it. I hope that cleared some of the confusion. Please don't be upset if you're still confused. You don't have to be confused. It's still a game. And for now, just do whatever feels nice for you, whatever feels better, closer for yourself. So don't be upset if you don't know yet what kind of type you are or if you're still confused. We're going to talk more about this. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Subscribe on my Pinterest for 13 boards as an inspiration for the body types. Also, you can subscribe on my Instagram. All the links I'm going to leave down below. Also, you can become my sponsor or subscribe on my Patreon for some exclusive videos, some early access to these videos, and um, just if you want to support me and my channel. Thank you so much, guys, and I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.